guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I sat down to film and I low key and all sorts of high key had no clue what I was gonna film. All I know is halfway I had to get up and leave because I had no idea. It was just not coming to me. And in case you're wondering why I'm all of a sudden 50 shades darker, your girl be tanned. For those of you who don't know, let me just put you in the know. I run a luxury beauty mobile service here in Southern California, and one of the things that we do all day, our day, is spray tan people. You know, I'm usually not a good walking advertisement. Last night I was like, all right, I really gotta get some color because I was looking pasty. I started going through screenshots I have, and sometimes I do that for inspiration. I came across this beautiful picture um, I'll link her Instagram below, but I recently came across her page. She is so pretty. I believe her name is Yelena, and J Makeup is her tag on Instagram. So yeah, I saw this and I was like, all right, we're gonna recreate it. This is what we came up with, which I'm now in love with. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and tell everybody that you no to subscribe your brothers uncles cousins sisters nephews and if you want to get social you know where to find me instagram snapchat facebook twitter all under beta beauty and yeah let's jump into this i'm gonna start off with prepping the skin because that is the most important thing to your makeup application process and we're just gonna zoom through this so let's start off with pixie hydrating milky serum this is my first time using it actually on camera with you guys and it says two to three drops now we're gonna go in with the eve saint laurent blur primer i'm gonna prime my face now with soft oh I'm gonna prime my eyelids. I honestly have no idea how I wanna wear my eyeshadow. The next thing I'm gonna quickly do are my brows. And today I'm using the Kelly Baker Brow Definer. I want my brows to be just a little bit more bold, so I'm gonna use this Lancome Gel Liner in the color four. And this next step, you guys already know, I'm basically just gonna clean up under my brows to really help the shape pop out. This is definitely a little too light for me right now because you know, your girl be tanned and all. So what that means is I gotta switch up my foundation so that it matches my current skin tone. And I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the color a bunch of numbers. I don't even know, 170? I'll list it down below, but this is the perfect shade for when I am on the tan side of life. And this foundation is probably one of my favorites because it feels like you're not wearing anything and it's buildable, so what I'm gonna do is layer one by one and then blend it out with a beauty blender. For my concealer, I'm gonna go back to oldie, but a goodie. This is the Lorac Por <laughs> Porfection Concealer. It's a little too light for me right now, so I'm gonna mix it with the Makeup Forever Y41. Next step, y'all already know though, we're gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and cook up them under eyes. I like this method actually, like lately, I've been doing my face and you guys know I never used to do my foundation first, but it saves a lot of time when I do it this way. So I think that I'm gonna stick to it, but when you're doing heavy eyeshadow, if you have any fallout, it'll just fall onto this under eye and when I dust it off, it'll all dust off together. Okay? Look at me, and I look at you. We're gonna do something, something. So with my Z palette, and I believe these are all the Anastasia shadows. Um, yep, we're gonna go in with orange soda. And I got this soda as my base. Okay, so. I told you being tan is so much better. My eyeshadow even looks better. My life just looks better. I took like a five minute break and I was scrolling and I found this. We're gonna do our best with everything I have to create this. 
So let's get to work. I'm gonna use Blazing by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Basically what I wanna do is I just want this like all over my crease and on the outer corner. Now that I know what I'm doing, I'm actually gonna do one eye off camera and then we'll do this eye together. All right, what do you guys think? I think I'm digging this. This is pretty bomb. I love, love these colors mixed together. I wanna really deepen this crease color slash outer corner color. For the next probably five minutes, we're gonna be blending between these three colors. And now that I know how my eyeshadow is gonna look, I can I know that I'm not gonna have much fallout. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust this all off. Feel free to take what we just what we're blending up here all the way down under your waterline as well. And now we're gonna take Urban Decay Zephyr and I'm gonna pop this right onto my tear duct. This shade here, which is Jardin Airs, and I'm not sure if it's discontinued or not, but in her picture she says she used the MAC Pigment Tan. Um, I don't have that, so I am improvising, and I'm gonna mix this with my Melon Pigment. And in little stippling motions, slap this color on, and then the next thing I'm gonna do to just make it go that extra level, it is my Too Faced Glitter Glue. You guys know that this is my obsession for life. And dab a little itty bitty bit right over what I just applied. And then look at that. Damn! This is like, goes zero to 100 real quick. You wanna be careful with melon right now because I don't wanna make my shadow too warm or too yellow. So just apply a little bit onto the inner corner and then we're gonna blend it out. On to my next step. We are gonna be coating the lashes and I always love to cocktail these two mascaras together. So this one's Benefit The Real. And then the other one, you already know, my good old Too Faced Better Than Sex. Next step, lashes. And I'm gonna layer these two. These are two different lashes. I know these ones for sure are the Ardell 113s, but I don't know what these ones are. So if I figure it out, I'll put it in the description box. If not, I apologize. All right, this turned out beautiful. I'm obsessed. So let's move on to the rest of our face. We're gonna take Chocolate Soleil Too Faced. Let's take my favorite contour palette at the moment. This is the Smashbox Contour Palette. And, and deepen everything. I gotta clean up under my contour line. Moving on to blush, I'm gonna add some of this Camila. These are the new Becca blushes. They are be beautiful. And this is perfect, just the light touch of pink. For our highlight, we're gonna dust on some opal. I'm just gonna be like a shining disco ball today. Let's give ourselves a little spray a little. Okay, my favorite part. It's time for the lips, y'all. Time for the lips. Damn lips. I'm gonna line my lips with Max Soar. So I actually ended up running sore all over my lip because it's feeling a little too pink for me and this helps mute it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.